I think that the first thing is that uh, we, we, we change the, the framework where we are discussing it. That I think we, we need to look realistically at our policies, evaluate what happened until now, be honest, because it, it costs people's lives. We need more emphasis, importance, we need more money, more support to public health and to protection of public health, and we need the respect of human rights. I think with these two words we can, uh, we can have more effective policy. Take into consideration the depenalization and the, let's say, uh, proportionality of penalties. I think it's time that, that we begin to, to base our policies on reality and look at both the risks and also the benefits of some of these uses. El hecho de que trabajáramos todos uh, en una línea eh, y que consensuáramos uh, líneas de trabajo y estrategias en, en una en uno mismo en una misma dirección eh, y en la dirección del respeto por los derechos humanos de las personas consumidoras y de la no estigmatización de los usuarios eh, con problemas relacionados con ellas. Within the international drug control regime, uh, I think we would have to really look at the fact that people use drugs for recreational purposes. Reducing harms and risk as an overall philosophy of our uh, strategies and policies. This is the only way forward. I would like to see some convention on this. I would um, not so much talk about change on policy as on policy implementation. Stop the prohibitionist uh, system. Of course, this is not the, the first action, but this is the goal. I think the change started already. And, and maybe it's a lo slower change that some might expect. But I believe that a more courageous regulation that could allow production, that could allow consumption and then possession, of course, but also commerce, I think it's the answer that should be looked into.